and this is Wendy welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be making these little embellishments so I've got some tickets some little envelopes and some little buttons you can see they're nice and glossy so um, as many of you I have got bits and pieces to use up so I'm just creating these little items to put into my journals um, these can just be put on as decoration or actually used as a little tuck so I've got myself set up here to make a few things so one of the things I'll start with are these little tickets and these are very very simple to make one of the big things I find is that I'm trying to use up some of my pads that I have in place. So these are six and a half by six and a half, and I have got so many of these. So we will get started and actually use some of these papers to create. I'm just trying to find. I might use one of these. That might be interesting. That will be very cute. And I might start with just those three sheets, and that'll make up a few little tugs. So I have got, <laughs> I did put everything up that I need to stay away. So with this little project, all I need is I'm going to be cutting these into um, one and a half inch strips to start with. Oops. Just like that. do up a few of these so these are just the width of one and a half inches whoops just hit something caught in the and one and a half inches so winter is just around the corner for us Nice cool days, which I'm looking forward to. So my trim is just grabbing a bit this morning. I'll trim that off afterwards. And oops, something caught in my mat, I believe. I'll keep those little strips. I'm just going to change over. Okay, I think this will be a little bit better. So, this is still at the one and a half. These actually should make quite interesting little tickets. So, just a handy way of using up anything you have. One and a half. One and a half. I've had three glorious days of sun here in Queensland. Um, <laughs> Queensland is supposed to be the uh, sunny state, but since February this year, um, we pretty much have had constant rain. Um, there's been three different periods where we've had floods, um, major and just minor. And so the three days that we actually had of beautiful sunshine was so enjoyed. 
That's why I call it a cup of tea. And now it's back to being overcast again today and a bit chilly. Uh, so, and with these little tickets now, I'm going to cut these out to two and a quarter. Um, I could just use the shoes I'm going to use next, but well, that one's just a bit shorter, that's okay. But I'm just using this at the time being. I've got those all cut out just then. I have then got my little shears and I'm going to be trimming off the edges. As I said you could do this straight up and cut. Um, however I just find with these shears it was easy for me to actually trim those back first and then cut those back. Okie dokie, so I've just got my hole punch. Um, I think I just picked it up at a cheap store. So all I've done now is that I'm going to go through and I'm going to punch some just in the top and the bottom of that card after they've all been trimmed. And the other type I'm going to be doing is just taking off the corners just in here with the round punch. So just a very simple process. I'm not putting it all the way down, only uh, just over half to half. So it gives us that finish. And those edges off. So it looks like that. Okay and that is the last one there. So the final thing I am going to be doing with this, so that ends up making a few little coffee cup, is I am just going to be using um, the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz and that is the Vintage Photos. So and I'm just going to lightly ink around those so that's what it ends up looking like at the end. So as this, this is going to take me a little while, probably the slowest out of all of it. I'm just going to pause that. I'm going to finish this off screen and then I'll come back to you. Okay, from those three sheets, I've ended up with 36 of these tickets. So I've just gone around and edged those sides. Though so they have ended up looking super cute. So plenty of little tickets to add my journals and these are the ones just with the tag the little corner cut out oh, sorry the, the top and the bottom so they ended up quite nice okay so we'll put those ones to the side the next ones we will make are these little buttons um, and all I've used is scrap paper out of my um, scrap paper box just on a bit of cardstock. Um, today I'm going to be using um, just this sort of light card out of some packaging as a packing and I'll use some of my scrap paper and I'll just grab my scrap paper box. Okay, I, all I'm going to be doing here is I found 
these scraps of paper and I am just going to cut out lots of little circles to make our buttons and that's just one inch circles so I'm going to cut these out and I'll be back with you shortly so I've got cut out multiple little dots the one inch dots I'm just using those scrap papers and I may not turn all of these into buttons today um, I may put them aside and I've gone ahead with the card that I had and I have cut out those um, circles as well so what I'm going to do next is actually glue them down um, I'm actually going to use the rough back side of that card um, as I don't think it'll stick to the shiny side as much plus it'll give me a nice clear area that um, a bit more finished when I actually finish that off so with some of these little ones I've actually tried to get to capture a little image in the middle or they've just been um, just little patterns I guess with wherever I find I like but I'm just going to pick out a few of these that I want to create into buttons so it can be a quite a nice rewarding little process and Again. Some of these are double sided, not all. Do you like that wooden up look? Love it. Mm, which one do I like? The that side. I'll start with some of these. So I am just going to. Uh, glue these onto these okay so I've made up those just with the cardstock and see I've still got plenty of dots left over and I might make something else with those but before I punch a hole two holes in the middle to get that button look I'm actually going to leave these dry um, you can see there that they've stuck nicely to that card that's that white on the back so I'm just going to put as I said I'll put holes in the middle of these however I'm just going to let them dry so I don't um, tear the, the paper when I actually um, punch those okay those have dried nicely so we'll be able to punch those um, to get the holes in the right spot I am just taking a normal button um, <laughs> this one is actually you can see that I've used this button a few times before it's kind of it's a little bit dark inside because I've been penciling with it before so I'm just putting in some dots Where I want. It doesn't have to be perfect, this giving us a rough idea of where I want to put them. So I'm just going to go and just finish these off. Okay, I've done that. This time I'm going to use another hole punch. This one actually makes slightly smaller holes. So I am just going to punch that that one and so we end up with something that looks a little bit like a button so all I need to do is go through and just punch all of these little discs so the next part now I've got all those holes dotted out I'm actually going and inking the edges I'm using that Tim Holtz distressed ink and it's the vintage photo so I'll actually 
just take my time here and just going around and just inking the edges. Um, you don't have to do this, but I really do like the edges being inked on my little buttons. So I'll just finish that off. Okay, so all of those have just had that inking around the edge. I actually like the finished look of that. The next thing I'm going to be using is a um, Dimensional Magic by Plaid. Um, it comes in a different packaging these days. This is just a little bit older. Um, this one is a little bit smoky, only because it is a few years old. I'm just trying to use this one up. So I'm just going to take a plastic lid um, off one of my storage containers and I'm just going to apply the dimensional magic and so it actually comes up and see how shiny that is gives it um, a really nice gloss finish at the end it takes a little bit to dry but that's what it'll end up looking like so all I am doing is just putting a nice liberal coating of the Dimensional Magic on top. Now you can get the Dimensional Magic at most um, craft stores and scrapbooking stores. Okay. So it's just a nice liberal coat there, right up to the edges, and just putting those down to dry. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these. Okay, so I have put um, the magical dimension on that, or dimensional magic, sorry, onto those little discs. And you can see there they're looking more and more like little buttons. So this will just take a little while to dry. I'm going to put that aside and we're going to start on the next little project. Okay, so the next little bits in this video that I'm going to be doing are making these little envelopes. As I say, you can use them as decorations or even as tucks into your journals. So if this was your journal page. Let's see if I could have one. You could actually just put it to that one might be a little bit of just in that corner. And then you can just have little bits sticking in. So you'd only just put it just on the edge just to create that little tuck. So I'm just going to use to start with um, I've just got two cream and also just a slightly yellowish page. The other thing you can do is also use um, some pattern paper and it was just a light pattern paper there. So I'm just going to get my cutter out again. Oops. I just fell off. So with these strips, I'm going to be cutting, um, I'll do it this way actually, I'm going to be cutting these into one inch strips for the small ones, so I'll make a couple of those. Then a uh, one and a half inch. These are so simple to do and quite effective. And a two inch for the larger envelopes. Two inch. What size is that? 
I might make another. I might make another two each. So I need more paper. And uh, let me choose and cut those. Is, oh, I will make that point eight. So this was going to allude to, I can't remember where initially I saw these. I think there's a few places that people have been doing this. It was one of my late nights sitting up, unable to sleep, creating some of these. And I know with these I'd have to cut some of these back because I won't need all of that. So if that was. I probably will only need. Sorry, that was two and three quarters. I think I put those two. And I'll probably cut this down even further. Okay, so first of all, We've got it's the two inches, the inch and a half, and the inch. So with these, all I'm going to be doing is folding these down. Very coordinated today with these. So, sorry, just like that. So these then will fold over like okay, like that, and these ones will come up. So as I said. I'm going to cut that again. Holding that up to the top. And then that just comes over the edge. So that's all it is to making it. And then gluing that down. Before I glue it down, I'm going to make up a few of these and then I'm going to ink around the edges. So all I have done is folding these over to the middle. Which that will fold down. It's cutting a little bit off at the bottom. For this to fold up to the top. I've just got the inch and a half paper. I've actually just made a little bit of a fold in the middle to find the middle, just to make this a bit easier. Folding down those two edges. It's going to cut a bit off of the bottom. Folding that up to the top. So it looks like that. Then folding that corner down. And that gives us that little envelope. And it's the same with the larger one. So I'm just going to find the middle there, folding that down, folding this down. I should like to be able to fold that all the way up without cutting anything off. And folding over the top to make us a little bit bigger.
Probably won't put them up. And then folding over that corner. So that gives us those little envelopes there. So before I glue down, I am just going to ink the edges because I love inking. I'm not quite sure if you've noticed that or not, but I do like inking. And it's coming up nicely. Now I'm not inking the other side. Um, either way, I use these in um, a journal. I'll either be using this tuck or sticking directly onto a page. So I won't need that second side inked. Um, even if I do, I know what this is my go to, which is that vintage photo. Um, I'll be able to just uh, ink it if I need it. But before I glue it down, I really do need to just ink that fold of the envelope. Otherwise, it's not getting it. And just continue to ink these up. Okay, see so what I didn't say probably before when I was actually doing the um, buttons, um, I do my go to glue at the present stage is um, the art glitter glue. I just find it fantastic I could go around to the edges of those and glue them down. So that is what I'm going to use here, that art glitter glue. Um, I'm not going to worry about putting down the edges. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down underneath. So it's just one dollop. One dollop of glue. Just folding those down. So, so quick and simple to create. Now you could have these standalone and just putting these down as these little envelopes as themselves as decoration. Um, you could also probably put some stamping on these to create um, an image of postal stamps as such. Okay, so we'll split those up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these in various positions such as so and we'll have this one over to the side. I'm just going to glue around the edge here, a little bit down the middle, and sticking that over. I'm just going to glue this one just on the corner. I might do the reverse here. I might have this one sitting down lower. So there we have those little envelope collections. Okay, so we just made off two more of those complete sets, um, and then I've got a couple of little leftover ones that I'm actually going to leave as that. 
that I can add them um, just as little embellishments in my journals. Um, maybe up to add something on soon down to the track. So they are those cute little envelopes. Um, that very simple, um, not quite effective. As I said, you can put these down just as um, a bit of an ephemera into your journal, or you could actually use them as a little tuck. Okay, well that yeah, the three bits that we've created today. So these days I'm making a lot more things up in in bulk, so I can then just add them to my journal as needed. So these will go away into the storage. So we've got those cute tickets, one with the rounded corners, one with the punching at um, top and bottom, we've got the envelopes, and we've got those super cute, if I can pick them up, super cute little buttons. So with the buttons, what you can actually do when you add them to the journal, um, I would get some oh, embroidery yarn and actually put a little bit through the holes to actually make them more like the um, buttons themselves and just use something that's actually quite contrasting with the rest of the page. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. Um, and I will try to do some more. Thanks very much for watching.